Sir, thanks for joining us today on Leadership Blog, which is a podcast for the Air Force Lifecycle Management Center community on topics of interest. And today we want to learn a little something about conditions-based maintenance. Uh, so we're here. If you could please uh, introduce yourself, sir, and give us a little bit of background first about the RSO, and, and then we'll get into the topic. Yeah, sure. So, uh, so thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Uh, happy to be here. So. Um, I'm Chris Damani. I'm the chief of the uh, CBM Plus program office uh, out of the Rapid Sustainment office. Um, I'm a career uh, acquisition program manager uh, here in the Life Cycle Management Center. Um, been uh, been here at Wright Patterson for uh, a little over 11 years, and uh, have done tours in in uh, several different program offices. Um, I started out in simulators and, and worked my way through uh, through mobility. Um, then ISR soft, and then most recently in, in fighter bomber in the F-22 um, modernization branch, um, and now uh, in the rapid sustainment office where I've been for about the, the past eight months. Um, so regarding the, the RSO, so the mission of, of the RSO is, is to transform uh, the operations and sustainment enterprise um, by rapidly identifying, applying, and scaling technology uh, essential to uh, the operation and sustainment of, of the Air Force fleet. Uh, and we do so by partnering with innovative and, and talented, um, talented companies uh, to develop revolutionary sustainment and, and maintenance technologies. So, uh, so let's talk. Let's talk about conditions-based maintenance. What exactly is that, and what and what are the benefits that you see from it? Yeah, sure. So, um, so condition-based maintenance plus or, or CBM plus um, is is really it's a new sustainment paradigm um, that is that is transforming the way the Air Force sustains its fleet. Um, the paradigm is is shifting the Air Force from uh, a fly to failure uh, maintenance concept to a flying to forecast uh, concept, uh, and we're doing so by by leveraging the power of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to turn sustainment data into valuable knowledge uh, that puts the the Air Force in control uh, of their sustainment and logistics operations. Um, so uh, the RSO has has two ways of of deploying um, um, this capability. Uh, one is uh, enhanced reliability center, center maintenance ERCM, um, and and really what ERCM is is it uses historical uh, maintenance and flight data to uh, forecast component failures. Um, and then those are um, updated in a forecast and reissued uh, every month uh, to the maintenance community. Um, the other path we have is, is sensor-based algorithms. And, and what, what sensor-based algorithms is, is it uses onboard sensors uh, and diagnostic systems to, to monitor aircraft health real time. And when an indicator is present, um, it means that uh, degradation has been detected, and then an alert sent uh, to the maintenance unit to take action. And, and and what do you see as the real benefits? I mean, as far as in terms of uh, availability or cost? Yeah, sure. So so the benefits are are really avoiding uh, your unscheduled downtime. So uh, increasing aircraft availability, uh, increasing your ability to to plan your maintenance actions efficiently. Uh, increases your ability to, to forecast supply needs that that could result in, in avoided MICAPs. Um, it, it decreases mission aborts, uh, decreases uh, uh, troubleshooting time. Um, you know all of those uh, all of those things and more uh, overall resulting in in a better fleet readiness. So, sir, what progress or uh, successes have been achieved so far, and, and what is what has really been the impact for the Air Force? So CBM Plus has, has been around for a while, um, but the Air Force journey really started, uh, really didn't start until about 2015. And it took a few years to develop the process and tools, but in 2018, 2019, um, prototype projects were launched for CBM Plus. Uh, and based on the success of those prototypes, uh, in December of 2019, the, the RSO uh, Board of Directors uh, approved CBM Plus for scale meaning that the technology uh, had proven to provide benefit 
uh, and we were approved to go implement the technology across the Air Force. So based on that decision in December of 2019, less than a year ago, uh, we were challenged to, to scale CBM Plus to 12 weapon systems in fiscal year 20, in which we were successful. And we've now proven that CBM Plus is scale, a scalable, repeatable process that can be applied to, to different platforms um, across the Air Force. Um, and we don't intend to stop there. We, we have an additional uh, six weapon systems uh, on our roadmap this year uh, to onboard. Um, and we um, expect by the end of this fiscal year, we're going to be closing in on um, close to 20 weapon systems across the Air Force um, that we've implemented a predictive maintenance solution on. Mm -hmm. um, CBM Plus is, is actively being used by over 500 maintenance units worldwide. Uh, we are monitoring components on almost 1,500 aircraft uh, across the Air Force fleet. Uh, and since CBM Plus inception, uh, there's been hundreds of of maintenance actions taken as a result of our alerts. Can you talk about, uh, can you name, uh, identify some of the platforms that it has been successfully used on so far? Yeah, sure. So um, our, our prototype projects uh, that, we, that we launched back in 2018, 2019, um, are our four, um, um, our first four CBM Plus platforms, and that's the C5, um, KC-135, the B-1, and the C-130. Um, and, and those were our first four that we implemented and, and fielded. Uh, in fiscal year 20, uh, we were able to field uh, three platforms, and that's the F-15, uh, the ACMC-130, uh, and the B-52. Uh, we also have several more uh, platforms uh, that, are, that are ready to field and are posturing um, posturing ourselves to deploy those first forecasts here in, in the next few months. Okay. And really, why should the Air Force or other DOD organizations embrace CBM Plus? <clears throat> so think about if you had the ability to know precisely when your aircraft was going to fail. Having that knowledge gives you the ability to, to order replacement parts and, and schedule maintenance actions uh, weeks or even months in advance of the actual failure. It gives you the ability to know when and where to position your parts and manpower. It gives you the ability uh, to have a higher degree of confidence that the jet you're sending off for a mission is not going to result in a mission abort and result in a higher mission success rate. Who wouldn't want that type of information, right? Um, you know, we execute this mindset every day in our, in our personal lives. And, and just to give an analogy, that I think will relate to, to a lot of people. You know, we all have cars that have health indicators, such as an oil light or a tire pressure light. Um, you know, what do you do when that light comes on? You know, you don't, you keep driving your car until it breaks. Um, you know, maybe some people do, but um, no, most of us, we, we change our oil or we, or we put air in our tires. You know, we've been doing this, this for, for decades in our personal life, and now it's time uh, to do that on the flight line. And, and beyond that, we, we really need the, the, full, the full enterprise to adopt CBM Plus to fully implement it. Uh, we need a complete end-to-end -end, uh, enterprise implementation of CBM Plus uh, because it's more than sensors and algorithms and machine learning models, uh, which, which is what we, we focus on in the RSO. Um, CBM Plus is a mindset. We need the supply chain to be able to support the demand uh, we need the ability to access uh, clean and complete data that sometimes simply starts uh, on the flight line with, with the data inputs that are done uh, by the maintainers there. We need the ability to track components by serial number. We need uh, the right policy in place to drive the culture change, uh, and the list goes on and on. Um, CBM Plus will not be successful without the total enterprise adoption of, of the CBM Plus principles. So what does the future of CBM Plus look like to you? Uh, where do you see us going in five years and, and what, what kind of excites you about the possibility? Yeah, so, so the, the RSO team, um, you know, we'll continue to, to onboard uh, new platforms. Um, we'll continue to uh, expand um, to monitor new components on platforms that we've already fielded um, until eventually a predictive capability exists on, on you know, every viable weapon system uh, across the Air Force fleet. 
Um, but, you know, beyond that, I'm really excited to, to start to explore the use of new and more powerful tools uh, to make our process better, smarter, uh, more efficient, uh, less manpower intensive by building in uh, automation. Um, you know, one, one particular item that, that we're excited about is we've recently partnered with uh, an industry uh, artificial intelligence technology leader uh, out of Silicon Valley uh, to explore the potential of their, their AI platform. Uh, and there's a lot of excitement there on what, on what that could bring to the table. Um, I'm also really excited uh, as we take CBM Plus to the next level and, and really start to push for a greater uh, adoption across the, the Air Force Enterprise. Um, because, you know, as I mentioned earlier, beyond the, the algorithms and, and the data analysis, there's a need to pursue and implement those key CBM Plus enablers, uh, identify and pursue solutions to the technology gaps that are currently uh, constraining our ability to, to, to field predictive solutions to, to more platforms, to more components, and really just establish a, a general uh, better supportability um, across the Air Force. So I'm excited to continue that collaboration with the supply chain, uh, with the user communities on that total enterprise adoption and, and excited to see, you know, how the benefits uh, correlate. Um, you know, overall, the, the future of CBM Plus as I see it is, is that CBM Plus, CBM Plus model or CBM Plus paradigm um, just being ingrained into the way we sustain our fleet and that it's not just another gimmick or, or, or buzzword. It's, it's just the way. Mm -hmm. So uh, if people want to learn more about this, where, where would be a good opportunity to do that? Sure. So, so every year um, the CBM plus uh, program office uh, hosts a, a annual user summit. Uh, that's coming up in, in, in February and, um, we're, we're being driven this year, uh, as, as are a lot of others, to, to think differently about how to host um, that event. Um, traditionally, it's been an in-person event, but, but this year we're, we're shifting to a virtual webinar. Um, so um, that, that option is available. Um, the summit is open to any government personnel and, and, and ANAS contractor. Um, so look for more information to, to come out over the next uh, couple of months on that event. Um, also, the CBM Plus program office is working on a millbook page uh, that will host a lot of great information and training material. Uh, the page is not live yet, uh, but, but look out for that uh, in, the, in the near future uh, on millbook. And if all else fails, uh, you can reach out to me directly. Um, I'm, I'm the only uh, Chris Damani in, in, the, in the global, um, and I'm happy to, to take, your, take your emails and, and answer any questions you have. Sir, thanks for joining us today and explaining CBM Plus to us. Uh, is there anything that we left out or anything that you'd like to add now? Uh, no, I, 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 would just, I would just reiterate that um, CBM Plus is, is a one-team sport. Um, it's, it's more than just sensors and algorithms. Um, it, it takes the entire enterprise to implement CBM Plus um, from, from the flight, flight line to, to the depot, to the program offices, um, to, to the MAGCOMs, to, um, to, to headquarters Air Force, um, you know, to the supply chain, all the way back to the RSO. Um, so it's, it's a one-team sport. It, 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 takes, um, it, it, it takes a team, um, and, uh, and we certainly need your help to make CBM Plus a success. All right. Thanks for joining us today, sir. Thank you.